Welcome to Technique Friday with Els. Today I'll be sharing a project featuring our Silk Microfine Glitter, Holiday Garlands 1 and one of our Snowflake dies. So this is the card I'm going to create and let me show you the dies we're using first. So first of all this is the garland set and I love that set. So this is garland set 1, we have garland set 2 as well. So these are all straight ones, so these are the little bulbs that we're using uh, today and this is uh, like a different color. Then we have the holly leaves here with the little berries in between and then we have those little light bulbs. Just a very fun and versatile die set to use. And then the snowflake, you can basically use any snowflake for that, but in this case I used our snowflake, like the little snowflake that comes with the entwined circle die. So that's the die set and that's the little snowflake. But another snowflake should work fine as well. The only thing is you want to have it like in one piece. You can see for the technique we're doing. So first I'm going to make those two panels. And basically the technique I want to show you is that you can use a positive and a negative like from your stencil. So this is a piece of release sheet and I'm starting with a piece of white cardstock with our clear double sided adhesive on top. And adhesive I use for this one is this roll. You can use the sheets as well. So any clear double sided adhesive from Elizabeth Craft Designs. And then I took that little die, that little snowflake, and I run it through that uh, release sheet. So I only have a piece of release sheet. And basically what I did, let me grab the stand. So I put that little die on here, so I just run it through all different times. So now I got my stencil here. So this is only the release sheet. And then this came out, so that's my other so that's my other stencil, you see? So that's the little snowflake that came out. And you can imagine for this technique, you don't want a snowflake that has all the little holes in the center or all the little pieces. It needs to be one piece, otherwise it's not like a good stencil to use. So let me start with the one with the brush pewter. So I use the brush pewter first. So in that case, because my snowflakes are white on this part, I'm going to use this as a stencil. So I'm just going to take this off. And if you don't have that extra big part, you, I can cut my snowflakes out of this piece as well. So I'm just going to take those, and the release sheet is non-stick on both sides. So it doesn't matter which side you put first. And one more here. And then I'm going to take that release sheet, and I also have a bigger piece of release sheet. So you save all your release sheet, and this will be very easy for this, because you put it on here, and then polish it really well, those, push those stencils down, push those snowflakes down. Because you ima can imagine if it's not uh, pressed down well, the glitter will run underneath and you will not have the sharp lines. So that should do is always check it of course. And then I'm going to do, use the brush pewter first in this case. Just sprinkle it. Tap it off. See, then I'm going to brush it off lightly. Put it back and of course coffee filter. And you will see with the polishing, you see it really changes. So it really gets to sparkle more. And then brush it off. I'm just going to use my fine pointed tweezers here, you see, and I put the snowflakes aside. Sometimes I bend the cardstock a little bit to pick it up. You see, as long as I can keep keep those in one piece, I can keep using and using and using those. And that's why it's so fun to make stencils. So you can make stencils using a punch, you can make stencils using your scalloped scissors, anything. You can cut your own stencils if you're very creative. And then I'm going to sprinkle my white. Take my white glitter and I'm going to sprinkle that. Tap it off. But I'm not going to brush it off over my filter, because if I have any specks of that brush pewter left that will come off, you will see that in your white. So that's especially with the white and the diamond glitter, I brush that off over my trash can, but I will do it now here over the filter so you see it. You see, but my white glitter is already back into the jar. And now I'm going to make my second panel. I'm going to take this off. You see, so now that's sticky. And now I'm going to use this stencil for that. So I'm just going to put it on here. Take my release sheet, I'm going to use that big piece again. I'm going to press this down really well. I'm going to use my brush pewter first. And you see, so this stencil is a little bit bigger than the, um, than the part I'm going to glitter, which is fine, because then if I want to do bigger pieces, I can use that, as, I can use that same stencil. So just brush it off. And because sometimes on that stencil the glitter sticks a little bit to it, then I'm going to brush it off very well. 
but then I'm going to use my Swift thread to get the last pieces off. Just to get the last specks on it, off there. So just polish. I'm just kind of going wiggle it around a bit. You see, because there it goes up, so I want to make sure that I keep it in one piece as well. There we are. A little bit of glitter on the side here, you see, and now I'm going to use my white. And again with the white, the same thing. So I'm going to sprinkle it. Tap it off. This goes back into my jar and then I'm going to polish it. Look how nice that panel is. And then this one I really don't need to polish, it's good as it is. I had that extra piece of white cardstock and with the, um, when I work with the glitter and I want to cut it, I uh, like to use the, uh, like a guillotine cutter because if you have a sliding one it might slide into your glitter sometimes. So I like to use a guillotine for that better than a, like a sliding cutter. So for the card I use the soft finish cardstock, so I'm going to make two panels with these pieces. And I'm going to use the 6 mm tape for that. Our clear double sided adhesive, so I'm just going to add some pieces. And you know, if you just do it like around, that's fine. I just need to have it on all panels. And with the garlands, what I do, I kind of prepare those garlands up front. Um, so if you want to make more cards than one, I'm cutting those garlands, adding either glitter dots or the um, or the pearl pen and then um, let it dry if you use the pearl pen. So just center it nicely. That's one and that will be two. Why that's kind of an opaque white so we also have the diamond uh, and the diamond is a transparent glitter and the white is a, like an opaque white so that's the difference between the two basically white glitters that we have. If you lay this down as well, kind of see, should be nice there. There we go, my first panel and then that's my second one, kind of stay away the same distance from the side of the card. So that's that and then this is going on there. And of course you can do it with different colors as well. And then I have the little glitter lines, because you know I'm a fan of the glitter dots, but we also have the beautiful glitter lines. And all those lines, so you have all those different parts of the sheet, those are, those are all different lines. And this is real, like it's a real nice glitter line, so it's not holographic, it's a real like glitter, it's a beautiful. So that little piece I will put back, because I can use that again. And then I have another one that's the same. And then I have that little garland. So this is a green cardstock with the clear double sided adhesive on the back. And then I run that garland through. And then I can either use the glitter dots. So I can use these. And of course these are great to use for the berries here. So you can use these. Or you can use like a pearl pen. That's this one. Always see if it's running first. Yeah, get it going. And then you just add those dots and make them kind of large because they will shrink a bit. So they look large but when they are big but when they shrink they will be the perfect size. So that needs to dry and I already prepared two here you see so this is with the glitter dots and this is with the um, with the Viva Decor pearl pen and here I have the one on this card I have the one with the pearl pen and then you see I have some little glitter dots in here as well. So then on this one I will use the one with the glitter dots Start the line up here. And then just have a tiny little bit to trim off here. And then I uh, took uh, some glitter dots as well and put those in the center of the snowflakes. So these are the glitter dots, so you just take those dots. And as you can see here, I already took off the outside and that is the way to work with the glitter dots. And that's it. So that's the card and you can imagine here, you have the, I like this one as well, look at that, how that would look on the card. Also really pretty. And then the other one in the garden set, those are, those are the hollies, also really nice. So that's it for uh, this YouTube, I hope you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I also have some uh, images uh, below on the screen um, to give you some more ideas about some other YouTubes.